G'day gang, Danny, how's it going folks? One back in the World of Warcraft, Mr. Pandaria in this Pandaren Monk playthrough. Currently working our way up here to that temple of the White Tiger. Where is everybody? Some lovely blossoms out there. Oh, hello. What's your life? Full flask. Dude, just meditating. You are most welcome. Family, friends, food. Food, These of course. Master Lao. Look at this. It's massive. Monk's training. Oh, we got something over here. The Emperor's Burden, part six. It was at this very location 10,000 years ago that Xiao Hao, the last Emperor of Pandaria, defeated the Shah of Anger, the Shah of Hatred, and the Shah of Violence. From the Book of Burdens, chapter 19, confident and fearless, Emperor Xiao Hao thought nothing could stop him. But at the urging of the Red Crane, he sought out the Council of the White Tiger, the Spirit of Strength. The White Tiger saw in Xiao Hao a dangerous recklessness that often accompany, accompanies those with no fear. He gathered together the greatest warriors of Pandaria to test the Emperor. Emperor Xiao Hao was given a ten-foot pole and was challenged to strike one of the warriors. For hours they fought, but the warriors were too quick and too nimble for the untrained Emperor. He grew angry, he cursed, and finally broke the staff over his knee. Humbled. The Emperor asked the White Tiger what was wrong, and learned that his own passions made him weak. To save Pandaria, Xiao Hao would have to combat his own anger, hatred and violence. The Monkey King sprang into action and carved three masks. The Emperor wore each mask in turn, and with the help of his friends as well as the greatest warriors of Pandaria, the Shah of Anger, the Shah of Hatred, and the Shah of Violence were defeated and imprisoned beneath the ground. The Emperor was forever changed, and as he set forth on the final leg of his adventure, he was a creature of patience, love, and peace. How good is the music, eh? It's too good. It needs to be mentioned at least every second or third episode. Sun Walker Desco. Half of the Vale lies in ruin. These outsiders have been more destructive than the Mantid and the Mogul combined. Give us a chance to put things right. Great Tiger, the strangers from beyond the mists. They cannot be trusted. The wreckage in the Jade Forest can attest to this. Zuen, Zuen. Can you believe the majesty of this place? Anduin Rin. Oh, look at his... His emblem is like... Everything here is all shiny. Monk, I'm glad you're here. The Vale of Eternal Blossoms is legendary among the Pandaren. It's a place of great healing, if the locals are to be believed. But the Horde War Chief has done something to the Vale, something terrible. We need to get in there. I will see you soon. A Celestial's experience? Nobody is allowed into the Vale without the approval of the August Celestials. Zuen, the White Tiger, appears ready to listen to me. But Taran Zhu and the Shadow Pan of the Shadow Pan is reluctant to let the Alliance or Horde anywhere near the Vale after all that's happened. Anduin shakes his head. Maybe you can help me make my case. Speak to the White Tiger on our behalf. Be careful. He may set a number of challenges before you. Keep your guard up. I am listening. Ah, another stranger from beyond the mists. Okay. Soon they will overwhelm this continent. Where do we draw the line? We're here to lend our aid. 
We can help you rebuild the Vale. We have witnessed your help in the Jade Forest. This horde, this alliance of yours. You have no control over your own nature. You leave misery in your wake. Ten thousand years ago, the last Pandaran Emperor came seeking my advice. He too was filled with conflict. Let us see if you are correct, Terran. Let us see how this stranger deals with turmoil of the soul. Spirit of violence? Violence. See? They are filled with it. Yes, we are fighters. But we come from a violent land. We fought off demons. We fought off death. We even fought against the very end of the world. It's the first we test. We can agree it is noble to fight for a righteous cause. To defend home or family. But what of vengeance? What of anger? I sense these emotions run deep in this one. Anger Sounds... is a part of all of us. Yes, but we value control. The orcs were once driven solely by anger. They lived in a state of bloodlust, but they conquered it. All you seek to conquer is each other. To live with... Well me. spoken. The strangers from beyond the mists have no shortage of passions. But let us see if they indeed control them. Beyond the anger lies hatred, the wellspring of all misery. What is this? Your hatred has a face. That looks just... See? See how these outsiders hate one another. They wear their hatred to battle and carry it to their graves. No. No, that's not true. There is so much more to us than this. How interesting. They bring much to our land, but they also bring the shadow of war. Peace will come, I swear it. And old hatreds will go away. You have to believe. This one has indeed proven mastery over anger. Between the young cub's words and the actions of this hero, I think I understand. Those from beyond the mists are hardened by battle. They are scarred, yes, but they have learned much. I trust them. You are making a terrible mistake. It is decided. The Veil of Eternal Blossoms shall remain open. The transgressions of the Outsiders have been great. But I see in them the capability to right what has been wrong. Thank you, Master White Tiger. You will see. I believe that my people and the Horde are essentially good. I will consult the others. Meet me at the gates. What I was trying to say? <laughs> I find your faith inspiring, little one. But I wonder... If you have ever met our war chief. What I was trying to say is he sounds like Darth Vader. There's work to be done here. You did it, Danto. The White Tiger has allowed, uh, agreed to allow us to accompany the Pandaren to the Vale of Eternal Blossoms. An alliance outpost is already set up within. Now the hard work of cleaning up the damage can begin. Stay safe. A witness to history? The Celestials allowing us back into the Vale. This will be a sight to behold. We shouldn't waste any time. Head to the gate of the August Celestials at the southern edge of Kunlai Summit and speak with me there. Be careful. Alright, I guess we will. Um, but I've got... We're 8 of 10. Still at the Shadow Pan. Which is over here. Okay, so we should do that first. Oh, and the yak wash. Whatever that is. I'd imagine it's this. Let's go to the yak wash first. Hmm. 
Musk Hall Ranch. At least I hope it's that. Gonna open up a yak wash. Fire camp Yong Ki. Yong Chi. There's the ranch. And there's a yak. Yakety yak. Oh, that looks like a nice little spa. Slow down. Until next time. Well, huh? who the heck are you? What are you doing here? Oh, you want to help? White tiger watch over me. The missing musk ball? What the heck are you supposed to be? A monk? Never heard of one of them. You here to help or steal my yaks? Look, if you're insistent, insistent on helping out, go find my boy. He got himself grabbed by a bunch of sprites and probably doesn't even know we lost the ranch. They dragged him off to Prankster's Hollow southeast of here. Go rescue him. And I'll see about giving you a reward of some sort. Enough of that. Fresh needle scent. Say, if you uh, really are here to help, I could use me some needles off the sprites in Prankster's Hollow. The Grumbles don't believe in luck. They can't smell. They'll pay better for yaks that have the fresh needle scent. Goodbye. You better be happy I threw my back out or I'd come over there and kick you off my land. Still gonna be there, eh? needles Underneath the, under the earth, is a hacker. Why doesn't my tiger talk to me? You get that Darth Vader voice going. Get a bit of that tiger. Tiger more faster going. I don't think it's James Earl Jones, but it sounds sounds pretty close to it. I wonder if that voice actor's ever done Darth Vader. The Darth Vader voice in any video games. It's like in one game I heard somebody sound sound just like Morgan Freeman. It wasn't Morgan Freeman, but it sounded pretty damn close to it. There you are. Hello. Musk Poor Jr. Thank you for the save, stranger. Jade Serpent. At the Yak Wash, there we go. Look, my father is crazy, I love him, but he's crazy. Those young go managed to completely obliterate our ranch and scattered our yaks every which way. If I know my father though, he's going to try to go head to head with a young girl to get the yaks back. Can you help us round up some of the yaks so my father doesn't do anything stupid? Just ride them over to the yak wash so we can clean them up and sell them to the grummels. 
May the mist protect you. He's taking one. I'll take this one. Thank you for rescuing me, stranger. Why is his yak so small? It's like it's shrunk in size. Escaped yak washed. Do 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 do. Lau and Sons Yakwash. Oh, mate, it's through the drive through. <laughs> okay, get it going. Come on. Spin them up. All clean and pristine. Oh, why didn't it, this stuff didn't come down and let this thing you know, rotate? Come on. Could have got a little bit more going. Or maybe some need to be cleaned more than others. Zandalari. Zandalari, man. That's it. Start spinning. Bring it in. Ah, they're too, it's too high up. Just see how serious spin. Go, 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 go. Go, Yak, go. Oh, I thought it would have bowled him over. Yak, yak. For now, the young girl invaders seem content to still Yak, surveying the area. However, you notice you could easily move on the Yak wash. They could move on the Yak wash at any moment. Thinning their numbers may help show the young girl that this area is protected. <laughs> How cool is the music? This well-worn trinket has several markings on it, confessing love and adoration from, from the late Mrs. Muskwall. Perhaps Lau would like his wife's trinket back. Speak up. White tiger watch mm, over you. Nothing like the fresh scent of needle. Until next time. You just earned me a handsome bonus. Getting those needles is a pain in the paw, but worth it. When we take our yaks to market, here for your troubles. Goodbye. Enough of that. Oh, and what have you there? This simple bracelet has symbols of love and affection carved into it. Goodbye. Oh, you never know how much you can lose until you've lost it. My wife passed a few seasons ago. But I can tell you this is a day when I could use her smile the most. At least she doesn't have to see what these young gold did to our beloved ranch. Until next time. The fear master. I am not going to take this anymore. My wife, bless her, poured her heart and soul into that ranch, making it what it is today. Them young gold got a leader over there, being all smug and whatnot. I'll pay you handsomely if you knock that smug smile off his filthy stinking. Good for nothing face. White tiger watch over you. You got it, buddy. I'm on it. Did that did that thing just say moo? <laughs> moo. I'm pretty sure that was a moo. A moo in anger. Moo! Time to get my buddies out. Oh, we're all fear, damn it.
temporarily. Something to laugh about. Okay, that's done. Now we just need three more yaks. Rush, increase speed by 100%. Punches to the face. I mean, my monk does hit pretty hard, right? And he's also wearing like brass knuckles, so combine the two. Wouldn't be good for their face or snout. Or whatever the heck they have. Greetings, wanderer. Oh, well done, stranger. Hopefully, we'll be able to cash in these in and recoup some of the damages the young girl inflicted. There is no hurry. What do you need? Yakety yak. Enough of that. Don't come back. Well then, I am mightful, gr mighty grateful for your you culling some of those young girls for us. Hopefully your little display of authority will be enough to discourage them from coming over here. White tiger watch over you. Yeehaw! I knew you, Pandaren, might be good for something. We must have made a satisfying thump when he hit the ground. Kafa hide foot guards. Kafa leather. Boots. Goodbye. Alright, what else you got? Hello. Back in Yak. I wasn't lying about your reward. Here, take these washed yaks to the Grummel Caravan. Master H coins. You can find him at the Grummel Bazaar west of here. He'll credit us and give you a delivery fee. He may be short, but he is our biggest customer. Return to me if you lose our yaks more often than not. They just come right back here anyway. Once they've been clean, that is. Next one is on me. Oh, you're gonna follow me? Alright, let's go. Over here. Everybody keep up, please. Ladies, stay with me. Binan village. Let's go the adventurous way. Just avoid those tigers. Or ride straight into them. Mission successful. <laughs> Many greetings. Good fortune to our friends. Ah, I can smell the luck from here. The musk balls always have good yaks for sale. Farewell, friend of the Grummels. 